this is a cold zubu a very cold zubu this zubu is so nice so i heard that pregnant women are not allowed to take zubu drink is this true let me know in the comment section hey everyone you're welcome back to Lily's corner if this is your first time here you're absolutely welcome and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming through for me thank you for the love thank you for the support thank you for everything i am grateful and i do not take your support for granted okay and if you're yet to subscribe please click that subscribe button help me grow help this little girl the last grow. time i made a zobo recipe and there was no measurements for that particular recipe and i got a comment from um someone saying she wanted to try the recipe but there was no measurement for her to try the recipe with so i promised her that i was actually going to make another video with measurement for her so that it will help her to make her own zubu okay so this is me fulfilling my promise hi trauma if you're watching i'm dedicating this video to you okay so let me just show you the ingredients and also tell you the measurement of everything but i'm also going to link the measurement in the description box down below so if you miss out on the measurement you can always go back to the description box to check okay so let's get started so here we have four cups of hibiscus flour also known as zubu leaf we have two cups of watermelon two cups of pineapple i have one and a half cup of ginger but you can reduce the ginger if you do not like your zubu hot okay and then i have one cup of eight and this pineapple peel was from the last pineapple i bought so anytime i get pineapple and then i peel off the skin i just store it in the freezer for my zubu so this is a whole pineapple peel is for one whole pineapple and then i have my cucumber and half tablespoon of cloves um cinnamon is missing in this video because i ran out of cinnamon but if you have cinnamon powder you can always substitute for the cinnamon sticks i'm going to juice the watermelon pineapple and then i'll blend the dates and also juice the cuts and juice the cucumber so let's start making our zubu okay <laughs> Our zubo leaf and start boiling it. 
so it's not time to wash our zobo leaf yeah make sure you wash this because the death in this oh my god So some people think that washing zubu is always is like um, taking out the new trend from zubu. No, I don't think so because you have to wash your zubu. The death in this zubu leaf is something else. Like you guys, always make sure you wash your zubu leaf properly before you. Do. And I don't know if you noticed that I love to use this tiny zubu and that's because whenever I use the bigger ones my zubu is normally not thick so I prefer to use this one can you I don't know if you can see the dirt in this so you see why you have to wash the zubu can you see a sun in there. Oh my lord. So make sure you always wash your zubu leaf. At least wash it twice. Thrice. Until the sun, the sun is out of the thing. So just do well to wash your zubu leaf as many times as possible. Okay? So still washing it. That bowl was not helping me wash it properly, so I had to change to something bigger and yeah. Can you see that there's still stone, like there are still stones inside? So please make sure you wash your zubu leaf properly before you start to boil it. So this is me washing the zubu leaf again because the dead um, I don't even understand myself. So this is the third time I'm washing it and I'm sure after this one it's going to be okay. So you guys, can you see the the dirt is out now? So I'm just going to put it into the pot. So now we're going in with our washed zubu leaf. And then our pineapple peel, ginger, the cloves. You guys, this is my chaff from um, my watermelon, pineapple, and cucumber that I juiced earlier. So I'm going to be adding it here as well. So I went in with 10 cups of water. Make sure you don't put so much water into your zobo so you can maintain but if you don't like thick zobo you can add as much water as you want but if you want to maintain that thickness just try as much as possible to put your water not so much so now that our zobo is on fire we're just going to allow it to boil and after it boils well I'm going to take it off the heat and allow it to cool down before we continue with the whole process. Okay? So, in here is our watermelon, pineapple, and cucumber. And I blended the beets so we have it here and ready. 
so we're just waiting for our soup to boil and then we proceed to the next thing we have to do so i thought to share this with you guys i don't know if i've shared this before but i use baking powder for my zobo i'm sure you'll be wondering why i use baking powder because it takes away the sour taste from the zobo yeah so i'm going to be using um half tablespoon of baking powder and you should use it when your zubu is almost boiling Our zubo is ready. It's a bit hot, but I think I'm just going to sieve it like that. And yeah, I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back to show you how I'm putting everything in to the zubo. Okay, so I'm back. I'm done sieving our zubo, and now it's time to go on with our fruits and dates. I have my watermelon here. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. I have my watermelon here and I'll be using this sieve. You can just go in with it directly if you like to feel those shaft and all that. But me, I don't like feeling the shaft and everything, so that's why I sieve my own. But if you love to feel, if you love to chew those the shaft of your fruits, then you can just Go in with your fruits and dates like that is perfect because they are not dead, right? So yeah, basically this is what I do. Now I'll go in with the dates. And as I said, this date is so thick, and I trust me when I say this thing is going to be sweet. Except if you have sweet tooth, then you may have to add any sweetener of your choice. But if you're one who is trying to watch your weight, stay off sugar, and um, suffering for, from diabetes, and you still want to enjoy this, I think this is the perfect way for you to enjoy your Zobo drink. Make sure you squeeze the juice out of your fruit and your date so nothing goes to waste. Our zobo is ready. Look at this. And this zobo tasted so nice. No added sugar whatsoever. It's ready and it tastes absolutely nice. But if you're a sweet tooth person, this may not be your kind of zobo. <laughs> and you can go ahead to either increase the quantity of dates you use or you go on to add any sweetener of your choice. But this is perfect if you want to lose weight, if you have any diabetic patient or you're diabetic yourself, you can enjoy this zobo drink without thinking of sugar. Okay, I've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Give this video a massive thumbs up. I beg, I beg. Even if you don't comment, just do this one thing for me. Just like this video, like and share my yeah, let me know when you try this recipe. Okay, I'll be in the comment section just to read your comments. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.